How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Bear Reviews. Back to yet another review. A little bit of pale ale time. Hopeful goodness pale ale time. In the form of Florida's Southern Swells Brewing. It is their uh, floppy handshake. Hmm. Pale ale. Uh, yeah, first things first. Uh, this beer comes courtesy of a three-pack. Banger beers that was sent to me by Cameron. Thank you very much, dude. Uh, I did a bunch of kind of South... Eastern United States, mostly Florida-based hot forward beers, and he's like, hey man, I got a brewery close to me, I think you'll dig it, and they represent Florida well, so set me off three of Southern Swells beers, and uh, that's pretty fucking awesome, so thank you very much, dude. Um, and this one is the last one I'm doing out of the bunch, he sent me kind of like, a, kind of an adjunct laden IPA, and then he sent me a double IPA, and then he had the pale ale here, so I'm super excited to give it a whirl, as far as what it says on the can itself, it says, uh, Southern Swells Brewing Company, Hoppy, f uh, Hoppy, <laughs> Flappy Handshake Pale Ale, 5.5% uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, it is, uh, let's see, softness is described in a New England style IPA is desired, not described. Not in handshake, hazy and light in color. A heavy portion of oat malt makes this pale ale soft and fluffy, but the combination of hops ensures there's plenty of flavor in every can. Um, they go through a bit of ingredients on there. This was actually canned a bit over a month ago. Um, on the bottom it says, firm dry solve, three seconds proper handshake and uh done and done uh label is cool you know black and white guy holding a fish you know i like it don't blow me away but it's all that matters is the beer uh like i said this is the third one i'll probably post all these on the same day um I'll probably post it actually in reverse order i'll probably post this one first and then kind of go you know smaller to bigger beer it's because i'm neurotic and weird like that and um the other uh, one i was really kind of taken with the other one was quite nice but just let me a little bit wanting so i'm kind of curious to see where this one lands uh you know index finger maybe a bit over it of a kind of off white kind of head some creaminess some rockiness um pretty kind of semi-tight kind of smaller medium type bubbles and she's got that soft kind of uh, cataracty white milky orange thing kind of going on so it has that kind of unfiltered hazy new england style thing on lock Let's see if we can get a nose on her. It smells pretty good, actually. It smells pretty good. There's a nice kind of bittering there. There's a little bit of touch. A touch of kind of green bittering, but it's mostly kind of an orange kind of pithy kind of rindy bitterness. Then you get a little bit of that orange kind of sweetness in there. Um, it's definitely kind of fresh. It doesn't come off kind of candy. It doesn't come off kind of like super like sweet and juicy. More like an actual spritz of an orange in there. So yeah, you're getting that nice citrus notes, so it's orange grapefruit kind of vibes going on. That nice bittering. Nothing too crazy, but it's 5.5% kind of pale ale. This is exactly what we're looking for. So down hatch, cheers. It's pretty impactful stuff, actually. Um, for 5.5% pale ale. I'm getting a big bite of kind of pithy bitterness it's not overly sweet it's kind of fun actually you know a lot of these kind of new england style beers tend to be kind of sweet kind of get that bittering out of there it's nice to have that kind of balance going on there's that kind of orangey it comes off a little bit sweeter than fresh orange like that spritzy thing i was talking about there's a bit of sweetness there but it's definitely not in that kind of juice realm it's kind of just an added sweetness to kind of an orange in a good way. It's not like Sunny D level, but it's not like orange juice level either. It's somewhere below all those. Um, and it's nice. Uh, the bittering leads the way here. Definitely drying on the tongue. Get that bittering kind of almost a little bit of kind of West Coasty kind of piney kind of bittering kind of floating around there with that nice kind of orange kind of uh, pithy bittering thing bouncing back and forth. And it's tasty. It, it's chuggable. It's a little bit, I wouldn't call it balanced, but it's it's kind of impactful while at the same time kind of re retaining a relatively low kind of ABV. Uh, I dig it. Um, definitely kind of in the middle of the road as far as those three cans go. The one that really did it for me was the one with kind of adjuncts laden. And you'd be like, oh, you just like that crazy added shit to beer. Well, it was more the kind of reserved hand with all that kind of stuff that really got me on that one. This one is more something I would like to have kind of six packs of, just kind of floating around and chugging. And while the big double IPA was was nice, it was just kind of lacked some kind of personality. This one, when I drink it, makes me think of oranges. It makes me think of Florida. In that way, it just works for me. So, yeah, 
pretty tasty stuff. Um, you know, it could use a little bit, kind of something in the middle to kind of tie it all together, kind of like it's bigger brethren. Uh, but uh, this one, what it's delivering is a pretty fun kind of bittering orange package and a nice kind of tidy, kind of tasty, definitely fun kind of mouthfeel kind of package. It's not a session beer. Some of these kind of lower ABV, ABV beers can be confused with that. The amount of bittering going on here uh, from a couple of different aspects is not something I think I could drink like a ton of these of. But it's definitely, like I said, it's something I want to get in like kind of six packs and be kind of like something you have. Like if you have a couple of different beers out tonight, maybe spread this out between a couple of different styles and um, kind of back bounce back and forth um, to it and whatnot. So yeah, tasty stuff. And actually, honestly, the three beers that I've had from Southern Swells, is a pretty fun introduction to a brewery that, up until this point, all I've had was the Hoppy Ford stuff, so I don't know if that's their MO, I don't know if that's all they're brewing. Now that I've had three of them, I'll go and do a little research on it, but, yeah, uh, as far as introduction goes in the kind of hop realm, this new school kind of hop-laden kind of beer realm, it's a pretty fun intro, let's put it that way. Uh, so let's talk about it, it's one of the better pale ales I've had as of late. Not the best, but definitely worthy of being in a conversation. Uh, value availability, I don't know. Maybe uh, Cameron can chime in or somebody down there in Jacksonville Way, Northeast um, Florida Way can uh, chime in and leave you with, if you like what, well, what you like this. If you like that big, bittering, kind of pithy orange thing going on, but you like a bit of balance with it. There's enough sweetness there to not make it just kind of overly bittering, but with its ABV and stuff like that, it's definitely the leader in the clubhouse when it comes to impact. So the mouth feels nice, the sweetness is nice, but it's definitely kind of bittering leading the way. So a lot of you kind of juice, balmy, kind of haze bro kind of hop body per people that like that low bitterness and big sweetness might not be right up your alley, but if you like a bit of balance in your beers, or I shouldn't even say balance, you like it a lean more bittering in your beer, especially these kind of New England kind of pale ale kind of stuffs, uh, definitely worth picking up. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, didn't anywhere in between, down there, words and stuff and things. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, untapped. Massive beers, all four of those places. If you want to check this dude out somewhere else. And there you go. Another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice floppy handshake right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>